working with calendars in bookhouse.co.nz, the basics. Okay, so what we're going to do in this webcast is we're going to figure out how to rename our calendars. Um, we're going to add um, a service to more than one calendar, and we're going to change our calendar's available hours. Great. So let's have a look at our calendars here. We'll see that by default we have a default calendar already set up and because I've defined some services it's showing which services that calendar is being used for. Um, I'm going to go in and edit the calendar now, give it a more sensible name. So it's me James's calendar and in this scenario I'm a, um, running a hairdressing salon so um, So we're going to define more than one calendar of a calendar for each of our hairdressers that's available. Go ahead and save that. If we click on Setup, that allows us to actually define the rules for this calendar. So it, it lets us set up what our open hours are. So we'll click on the rule for weekdays here. And as you can see, we're starting at 7 a.m. I think we'll start ours at 9 a.m. And maybe we'll finish at 6 p.m. We'll save that rule. Now I'm not going into the real details in this um, webcast, we'll do that in a more advanced webcast on calendars, but this is the basics. Okay, now at this stage we'll go ahead and duplicate this calendar, all right, and we'll call it Sally. We'll save that. And now what we can do here is click on uses and we can decide what services this calendar is going to be used for. Now I've already created a haircut service so we'll go ahead and use this uh, calendar for haircuts. And if we go back to calendars and look at our James calendar here and look at its uses you can see that it's being used for the haircut service as well and I'll just remove it from all the other services that I've created. Okay, now to have a look at what that looks like, we'll go into the services here and we'll check out our haircut service and we'll imagine we're going to book that service. Now as a customer, if we we're going to book that, it shows us the calendar, it shows us when we're available and as you can see here, now we're available from 9 the service is half an hour long, which is why our calendar is divided into these half hour segments. If our service was for a different time length, our calendar would be automatically divided into the correct um, time slots or time frames. And at this stage, we can also choose who we're going to book it with. So if we were a hairdressing service, then we, our customer may want to choose exactly which hairdresser they're with. So let's say, for example, I always get my hair done with Sally. Okay and I think Friday the 28th and we'll say at 12.30 as a customer that takes me to the bookings screen and I'll confirm and we're done